shows of WHNZ AM, its staff, management, or parent company, Clear Channel Communications Incorporated. Welcome to the Caregiver Hour on 1250 Winds WHNZ, offering support for those who care for a loved one, a show that cares about you and supports and encourages you, the caregiver. Here's your host, Kim Linder. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Caregiver Hour radio show. It's a beautiful day in the Tampa Bay area, and I hope that you are someplace where you're having a wonderful moment and maybe you plan something special for yourself today. This show is about empowering the caregiver to create the balance in their lives, to have those that information, resources, and guidance at your hands, at your fingertips, but to also circle back and somehow also create the balance and take care of yourself. That's really the goal of this show. And we bring you such great information. We bring you wonderful experts here to the show every week so that you are feeling empowered, informed, and so that you can make those important decisions in a more knowing place in your life. And when you have that that situation that just pops up, you get that phone call that now mom has fallen and can't get up and is calling to ask you to come and pick her up. We want you to know that there are other resources that can pick mom up in a safe way where you don't have to be stopping what you're doing at work and running to take care of her. There are there are services here, resources and experts about legal legal uh, questions that you may have. Maybe there's documents that need to be legal documents that need to be updated. Perhaps you don't know what the difference between an ER, an emergency room, or a trauma center is. Maybe your loved one needs to go to the trauma center and you don't even know to ask the EM people, the e, the emergency medical staff that come and or the med- emergency medical service that comes to your home. You don't even understand what if they said, okay, well, we're not going to the ER, we're going to the trauma center, and you don't even know what that means. We're here today to help you have that understanding. But we do this every week. We have experts here so that you do understand what is happening to your loved one, because that helps then create the balance of, of feeling less stressed. Being informed, and so when we talk about how knowledge is power, it is. It helps you in those emergency situations or those dramatic situations. So we're here every week, but we're also here during the week. And the show is live on Mondays and airs again on Saturdays from 5 to 6 p.m. But if you want to see us and hear us during the week, you can do that right on our website. Thecaregiverhour.com has Full of information. They has archives of every show. You can listen to it through iHeartRadio podcast, but also you can see us. And that's also a nice way to really connect to not just local resources and experts, but national. We have different people come on that do come through and we have them on the show for you. This is all about you. And so many people are understanding and millions of caregivers are understanding that they are caregivers. And that's so powerful. And it's so rewarding to see someone when they say, I am a caregiver and I also am a wife. I also am a, a, a grandchild who's taking care of a loved one or a neighbor. And we also have on the other side the professional caregiver, the doctors, the nurses, the geriatric care managers, the, uh, the different people who help seniors and elderly and caregivers 24-7. And we actually have a helpline now, and that helpline is a number you want to have, and I'm so grateful that people call me because I am there for you 24-7. That caregiver helpline is 1-877-552-4950. We have so many experts connected to the helpline where you can click to call them directly without talking to me. Um, If you get stuck or you want to talk to me as the caregiver coach, you're welcome to do that. And if you leave a message, I call you back, and there's a recording of your call. So I know that you've called, and maybe you hung up. I can still call you because I know where to find you. So, again, that toll-free number is 1-877-552-4950. Um, uh, I briefly talked about just kind of the tip of the iceberg of what is the difference between an ER and the trauma center. And I'm grateful to have today's guests on. Mark Jones is the founder and CEO and president of Air Ambulance Worldwide, Inc. And he's an extraordinary man. Um, He 
rides a motorcycle with a leather vest, and he's really a cowboy. But wow, does he run a business. And this is another thing that I do for you is I look into who I have on this show for you. Who do I present in front of you? It's not random. It's very intentional. It's very specific. So Mark was kind enough to have us visit him at his office, and then we went to the airport to see the planes, to meet his staff, to really have more of a full understanding about what is um, and who is Air Ambulance Worldwide. And we're going to be talking about that because you never know when you're going to need that service. And then we're so blessed to have Melissa D. Cole, MSN, ARNP, ANP, and BC, Director of Emergency and Trauma Services at Tampa General Hospital. And then we have a special guest that we're going to have on with her. So stay tuned because you'll want to know who that is. Um, But he's also from Tampa General Hospital, but he's our surprise guest. So we're going to start this conversation now. And this is another number that you may want to have right in front of you. This is our toll-free number in case you have any questions. Because you may want to know, why do I want to know about Air Ambulance Worldwide, Kim? Or why do I need to know the difference between the ER and the trauma center? And how does that, How do, which one do I go to? I live in such a place. Where do I go? And, um, you know, just having that information really makes you feel like you're standing stronger as a caregiver. And that's all part of that balance that I talk about. Um, We're going to, that toll-free number that I want you to have, if you want to ask us a question during the show, is 1-877-897-8255. We're going to bring on Mark Jones, who's the founder and CEO and president of Air Ambulance Worldwide, Inc. And Mark, welcome to the radio show. Well, hi, Kim. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it. You're very welcome. I saw you chuckle a little when I said that you ride a motorcycle with a leather vest. Oh, yeah. 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 Enjoy that. That's good. Why don't you tell us about your business? Because so many of us don't know about Air Ambulance Worldwide. Well, Air Ambulance uh, Worldwide, uh, we've been around for about 11 years now. Uh, And to clarify, we're not a helicopter or a rotor system uh, uh, provider. We're all fixed wing, in other words, aircraft. Uh, Bay Flight and so forth supports uh, hospitals in the area and some of the other uh, types of services, the helicopters and that. But um, we're fixed wing, so we, we typically don't move patients for less than 150 miles. But our reach goes literally worldwide uh, with the aircraft that we have, the staff that we have, and the credentialing that we've got. We uh, literally travel around the world. We uh, recently did Miami to Australia, but we do Orlando to Atlanta as well. And we love the Canadians because yes. they were down here. We don't like to see them get hurt. Right, of but, course not. Uh, we're taking them back and forth all the time. So what? Uh, let me just jump in here with a question that a family caregiver may have is, what is required to determine if someone, if you can move a patient or not? Like what happens if you, you get the call? What is your uh, requirements for someone to be moved? Yeah, that's a good question. Uh, we, we receive inquiries from a variety of methods through a website that we have through hospitals, local hospitals, and travel insurance companies. But once we get that call, uh, we identify where they're at, where they need to go. We get a general feeling and understanding of their medical condition. Uh, then we provide a quote to them. But if we're awarded the flight, then we get a pre-flight medical report, uh, which is done either by my lead uh, flight nurse, who's a critical care nurse, or one of our doctors. And so we'll get that medical report, and that will define if there's any special needs, meaning medical staff, uh, equipment, uh, our aircraft are all equipped as an ICU, just like in a, an emergency room. But uh, sometimes we do need special equipment. So so what's the procedure? And is it normally a family member that calls you, or is it a professional medical professional person? Well, it's it's really both. Okay. Um, uh, on our website, and we do advertise and show our web uh, website, and they can respond and request a uh, quote right from there. Then we call and follow them up. Uh, or they call in just from getting our phone number off the website. Or then, as I said, the Canadians and the different travel insurance companies that uh, insure people to travel, if the person gets hurt, what they'll do is they'll call a number that they're given when they buy their policy, which goes to that assist company. That assist company then will call us, and I go out and make sure I know and am involved with all of the assist companies. So then it comes in a, a variety of different ways. Okay, we are going to be coming back um, after the break. So I want to give you the toll-free number in case you do want to ask Mark a question. It's one 897 8255 
you know, Mark has described to me situations where family members have needed to call the service, you know, because a lot of us don't think about it. But you could be on vacation. You could be um, maybe uh, just traveling for business. Um, You could be in all different situations where all of a sudden you need an air ambulance. And we want you to really look at the website. It's www.airambulanceworldwide.com to get more information because this is another topic where you just never know and it's always good to be prepared. I want you to stay with us. We've got more coming. I'm Kim Linder. You're listening to the Caregiver Hour on 1250 Winds WHNZ. Caregiving can be an overwhelming and stressful experience. Aston Gardens, Tampa Bay's premier senior living community, is excited to be able to support those who care for others. Please join them the third Thursdays of the month at 5.30 p.m. to learn creative problem-solving techniques and caregiving ideas from others who have been in your shoes. Aston Gardens specializes in independent living, assisted living, and memory care. Chosen for the third year in a row by the U.S. Commerce Association for the Best of Tampa Bay Award in Residential Care, call 813-855. 2811 or visit astongardens.com for more info. Injured in a car accident or suffering from back and joint pain for a while? Clearly, you need to see a doctor. Call Dr. Ben, a chiropractor with 25 years experience. He listens, he cares, he gets results. His common sense approach? Coaching patients to be self-sufficient and less doctor dependent. Let's face it, there are many things you can do to improve your health. Call Dr. Ben at 727-488-8044. Mention the Caregiver Hour radio show for a free examination. 727-488 8044. Dr. Ben, your coach to better health. 727-488-8044. St. Joseph's John Knox Village of Tampa Bay, Tampa's premier retirement community, is part of the BayCare Health System. John Knox Village is known for its successful aging lifestyle, along with spacious apartments. John Knox Village offers a wide range of activities to fill one's life spiritually, physically, mentally, educationally, and nutritionally. In addition, every level of care is available to meet the needs of the aging population. John Knox Village, comfortable, casual, and secure for life. To schedule a tour, call 1-800-272-5669. Caregiving has gotten harder and more complicated, even as families have more and more demands on their time. That's why AARP is here to help caregivers with the tools, information, and support they need to care for their loved ones and themselves. Check out aarp.org slash caregiving to connect with other caregivers like yourself and find the resources you need. Visit the AARP Caregiver Resource Center at aarp.org slash caregiving. I'm Mike Lavoie with Beacon Asset Management. While 30 years of experience in financial services may have prepared me to be a certified financial planner, no amount of planning could have prepared me for the stress of being a caregiver. The financial planning my dad and I did when my mother became ill made caring for her bearable. At Beacon, we are committed to helping you take care of your financial needs so you can take care of your loved ones. Give us a call at 813-269-0732. 813-269-0732. Your home is where you feel relaxed, safe, and secure. Arcadia Home Care understands that you want to maintain that freedom and independence, even though you may be recuperating from an injury, illness, or simply require a little support with daily activities of living. You create a plan for your life as you envision it, and you can rest assured Arcadia will provide companionship, personal care, housekeeping, shopping and errands, or whatever you need. They deliver their services with compassion, dependability, and professionalism. Their caregivers are screened, bonded, and insured, and must meet rigorous hiring standards, so you are confident you're receiving the best care possible for you or your loved one. Visit ArcadiaHomeCare.com or call St. Petersburg at 727-579-9414 to schedule your free in-home assessment and learn how Arcadia can enhance your quality of life while helping you stay at home and healthier longer. Call Arcadia Home Care, 727-579-9414, providing quality services since 1978. It's the Caregiver Hour on 1250 Wins WHNZ with encouragement, guidance, and support for caregivers. Here's your host, Kim Linder. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the Caregiver Hour radio show. We have on our show today, Mark Jones, founder, CEO, and president of Air Ambulance Worldwide, Inc. And if you just tuned in, you came at the perfect time because Mark is going to tell us a story about how a family uses his services. So, Mark, can you help help us get the visual of what, what you do? Sure, it's be so glad important. to. Okay. Yeah, thanks, Kim. Mm-hmm. Uh, we, have a, we have a patient. We're actually going to move them several times, but it's a young child, about 18 months old. 
and they have a, a, a condition called June syndrome. And basically their, <clears throat> their rib cage and their uh, bones aren't growing and, but their organs are. And uh, mm-hmm. there's a specialist up in uh, uh, Children's Hospital in Philadelphia, CHOP. Uh, and so we have to take that child from here in St. Pete up to CHOP in Philadelphia. And um, uh, the first time we moved them, they were uh, 18 months old. Um, they're on a ventilator. They have a trach. They're um, fairly critical. They, they can't fly commercially. And so uh, we fly them at sea level because they need a, a lower elevation mm. cabin. And we can do that. We fly at about 26,000 feet and uh, 29,000 feet. And uh, we pressurize the cabin as though it's at sea level. So uh, we take the mom and the dad and and the child and then our medical staff. And we had a doctor, nurse, and a a respiratory therapist on board. And we flew them up to Philadelphia, uh, dropped them off. And then about seven to ten days later, we go back and get them. So he goes up there, and he actually had rods and different uh, apparatus Mm -hmm. put in that expands his chest and his his, uh, upper, uh, uh, you know, upper chest area. Right. And... um, uh, allows him to grow. And then as he grows into that, he has to go back and have that done again. So then we'll go up, get him, bring him back home. We take, take care of the ground ambulances. They don't have to worry about a thing. Once we take on a case, we'll set up everything. All they have to do is be there. We'll pick him up, take him, and so forth. So say um, there's a situation. Thank you for sharing that because sure. that was really a great example. But say we have a situation um, where someone is in a situation I'm just trying to get this the story straight in my head mm-hmm. where they're here locally. How do they get to your airplane? How do they get to your aircraft? Okay. Well, you know, if we had a patient in the uh, Tampa General who's here with, with us today, right? Um, and we had this all put into place. Yes. What we would do is schedule for um, our aircraft would go from PIE right here in Clearwater just over to Tampa. It's a two minute flight. Okay. So we would go over there. Then we would uh, contract with AMR. And coordinate this with uh, Tampa General, of course, uh, with their discharge people and so forth. But then we would have that ambulance pick our medical crew up at the Tampa airport. They would drive into Tampa General with our crew. Uh, We would go bedside, even though we've already done a pre-flight medical report, we would then do a bedside assessment to make sure nothing's changed. Uh, Everything that we were given is accurate. Uh, No special needs that were overlooked or missed. And if that's the case, then... We transfer them onto the stretcher, and that ambulance and our medical crew will go back to the airport. We'll board the aircraft, and we have permission to drive the ambulance right out onto the tarmac, okay. right to the nose of the aircraft. Uh, literally, it's a transfer of 15 feet. Okay. Uh, you don't go through the main terminal building. Okay. We go to what are called FBOs, fixed base operators, and this is where the private aircraft go into. So that ambulance drives right out there to the nose of the aircraft. We transfer them in. We help the passengers in um, and so forth. Uh, there's no charge for passengers. Uh, it's just the flight cost, and that's it. And then it, uh, in this case, it, up at CHOP, we would have another ambulance there uh, okay. and so forth. Uh, this is kind of unique because they have a, 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 a wheelchair uh, that uh, needs to get in moved. In Philadelphia and, uh, for the young child. Yeah, um, and uh, we actually uh, make arrangements for the wheelchair to be handled if we can't get it into our aircraft. Okay, so, so everything. We take care of everything. That's That gives people peace of mind. Sure. Um, Say someone is interested, Mark, to be in touch with you. What's the best way for them to do that? Uh, well, they can call our office. We're 24-7, 365. Okay. We do not use and never will use an answering service. We have employees answering the phone all the time. But they can call uh, 877-922-9675 or our local number, 727-781-1198. And they'll get a flight coordinator. That's great. And um, Mark also is on our website, so we have links there as well. If you would like, if you're just watching us now or listening, you can do that very easily. I, I want to make sure that I've gotten everything that you wanted to say today to our listeners and viewers, Mark. What would you else would you like them to know about your services and that whole process of having to, to use your services? Well, you know, because of the cost of what we do, and people have sticker shock. Okay. A couple things that we recommend. First of all, they should get multiple quotes. Second of all, we believe that when they do, they're under stress. They're in a difficult situation. Sometimes they don't think as clearly as they should be because they've never had to do anything like this. We suggest that they do a search on the Internet, which is a wonderful thing these days, 
to check and see how the companies have performed. Do they have any accidents? Do they have any incidents? Do they have any accreditations? And we're 100% incident accident free in 11 years. We've done thousands of flights, never had an issue. And so I, I just suggest that they do their research. Um, also, uh, we're a Urami accredited company, which is a, a worldwide organization that comes in and evaluates you. And there's only half a dozen or so in the U.S. Uh, so you need to make sure that they have the accreditations, that the credentials, the staff, and do some research. Uh, we do try and find the least expensive way to do it, but it is expensive. Okay. So why don't I give the toll-free number in case you have a question. You could be a professional family caregiver. You could just be one of our loyal listeners who just likes to tune in every week. Our toll-free number here right now is one 897 8255 Mark, I'm really so thrilled that we've met, and uh, it's it's really opened my, my my eyes, my world, knowing that what you do, and it feels like it just helps me continually serve the caregivers, and that's exactly what I love, and I love how you do your work. I've, well, I'm, you. I watch you in action, and we can't wait to uh, to really take a trip out to the airport again and see your planes. They weren't there that day, but I met your crew. Hopefully, they're never there. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to come in the middle of the night or something That's and right. do that. But it would be well worth it. Why don't we, again, just give your information in case someone wants to be in touch with you. Because you know what? I think you are the first person they should call and then ask, okay, Mark, you said that we should be talking, checking out other places. Who should we call? So why don't we have you be the leader? Okay. Uh, well, first of all, our phone number, 727-781-1198. That's local. Toll-free worldwide is 877 922 nine six seven five and um, if you uh, call our office or if you want to write an email you can send it to ops ops at air ambulance worldwide dot com it's simple but long and that will get to the appropriate person 24 hours a day seven days a week we'll always respond to you very quickly that's great. And I think, again, you know, Mark is very upfront that you may have sticker shock, but then you're looking for a specific quality of service. And we believe that Air Ambulance Worldwide will provide that with you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Kim. You're very welcome. We'll have you come back at the end, especially if you have any uh, someone else calls in with questions. Uh, next, we have Melissa Cole, who is the Director of Emergency and Trauma Services at Tampa General Hospital, and a surprise guest with her. So we're so excited to have them here with us. We're really going to be talking about trauma centers and ER in hospitals. So if you are a professional caregiver, and maybe this is going to be helping you understand more about what is out there and the difference so that maybe you can help your clients, or maybe you're a family caregiver and you're in a situation where this pops up, we want you again to be informed to feel balanced, and to feel well. We want you to stay with us. I'm Kim Linder, your host of the Caregiver Hour radio show on 1250 Winds WHNZ. This is 1250 Winds, WHNZ, Tampa Bay, an iHeart Radio station. Looking for high quality supplements at affordable prices? Visit Gulf Coast Nutrition, located in Palm Harbor at the corner of Alternate 19 and Alderman Road, in the Public Shopping Plaza. You'll find all your favorite brands like Renew Life, Doctor's Best, Blue Bonnet, and many, many more. You'll also find nutritional lab testing and many physician brand supplements, such as Metagenics, as well as your favorite sports nutrition supplements, all at competitive prices. At Gulf Coast Nutrition, you get personalized service from a knowledgeable staff. Be sure to sign up for the free rewards program available in store at the corner of Alternate 19 and Alderman or online at gulfcoastnutrition.com. Call 727-754-2900. Ready for a healthier you? Listen to Gulf Coast Nutrition with Dr. V and Brenda B to find out what supplements may be right for you. Gulf Coast Nutrition with Dr. V and Brenda B every Wednesday from 1130 until noon on 1250 Winds WHNZ. Your house here. Uh, what? No, really, it's me, your house. We gotta talk. Seriously? Yeah, look, did you know I'm wasting your energy and money? 
Oh, the electric bill. Exactly. But Tampa Electric can help. Really? Sure. Just call Tampa Electric for a free home energy audit. An energy analyst will come over and inspect my ductwork and insulation. For real? Check windows and doors for leaks. Examine heating and cooling systems. Look at all the places I waste energy. Wow. The analyst will recommend energy efficiency solutions and even offer you rebates. How cool is that? That is cool. Hey, wait a minute. House, have you always been able to talk? Yep. Then why didn't you? Didn't want to creep you out, man. Uh-huh. Get your free home energy audit and start saving energy and money at your house. Call Tampa Electric today at 813-275-3909 or visit tampaelectric.com slash save. Tampa Electric, the power to save you money. Need AC? Call Simpson Air, the coolest guys in town. Log on to thecoolestguys.com. This report is brought to you by Empire Turf. Ready to upgrade your lawn? Make the switch to Empire Turf. Empire Turf is the proven zoysia grass and has been the standard in Florida for over a decade. Empire Turf is chinch bug resistant and drought tough. For a lawn that will wow the neighborhood, get Empire Turf. For where to buy, visit EmpireTurf.com. From the Bright House Network's Traffic Center in St. Pete on southbound Dr. King Street around 94th Avenue North, there's an accident. Only the right lane is getting by. We also have a crash on 49th Street at 35th Avenue North. In Hillsborough County, there's an accident at Falkenberg and Woodbury, and we still have a crash on U.S. 301 at Jackson Avenue. See traffic problems? Call the injury firm of Abrahamson and Uterich Hillsborough. Traffic tip line at 866-545-9595. 1250 winds, weather center forecast. Hot afternoon coming up with highs reaching the upper 80s. We've got 86 in Brandon, same for Zephyr Hills, Tampa 82. Same for St. Pete, 85 Bradenton. We had 80 degrees by 10 o'clock this morning. We'll see a slight chance of showers today, 10% lows in the lower 70s, mid-80s over the next few days. By the end of the week, near 80 for the high as a little front comes in, rain chance will increase. Dow is up 68, NASDAQ down 11, S&P index positive 2, down to 16,429. The Caregiver Hour on 1250 Winds WHNZ. It's about taking care of yourself while you take care of others. Here's your host, Kim Linder. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the Caregiver Hour radio show. Uh, today, we're talking about what is the difference between the ER and the trauma center. And we have um, Melissa Cole, who is the Director of Emergency and Trauma Services at Tampa General Hospital. And we have as our surprise and special guest, John Dunn, Communications Director. So we're thrilled to have both of them here at the studio, and we want to welcome both of you to the Caregiver Hour. Thank you. Thanks. You're very welcome. John, do you want to just bring the microphone closer to you? That's great. Yeah, get closer. That's perfect. All right, in case you have anything you would like to say, because I know that you like to communicate. Yes. So we're really talking today about a very serious topic, but we want to make it feel very real to our caregivers, our listeners, so they really have an understanding. So, Melissa, can you help us walk through what is the difference between a trauma center and an emergency room? Sure, I'd be happy to. Uh, most hospitals actually have an emergency room, but not all emergency rooms actually have a trauma center inside. Okay. Um, at Tampa General, we have a separate um, piece of the emergency room that has separate trauma bays where we have specialized resources, we have specialized staff, we have specialized rooms to be able to give, care for the severely injured patient. And so how does someone know that they're going to be going into the trauma center or the ER? Like how does, you know, I, my, you know, I, you know, so common is an example of um, my, my mother fell and, and she can't get up and I'm running over there and the EMS is coming and we're going to meet and, you know, I'm, I'm thinking they're taking her to the, to the ER. Is that a normal or should I be thinking maybe she needs to go to the trauma center? Like what's the difference? So um, if you've called 911, the paramedics would come. There's actually strict criteria in the state of Florida to help determine if a patient has met trauma center criteria to okay. know if they need a specialty of, re you know, need that specialty of resources, mm -hmm. um, depending on their injuries and what their status is of whether they need to go to the trauma center of an emergency room or just to an, a local emergency room. Because sometimes they, you know, someone has fallen and they can't get up and um, I've learned that working in an assisted living, I don't go over there and try to lift them up. I bring someone who's professional 
that looks them over first yes. to make sure we we don't injure them more. Absolutely. Um, so I learned that by working in assisted living because, of course, my immediate reaction was I'm going to just pick her up. But So that family members need to know that they need to call the EMS mm -hmm. to get mom or dad or their loved one mm -hmm. up from the floor so that someone can really do a thorough assessment. Do you agree? Absolutely. Okay. Yeah, there should be somebody specialized, especially if um, a... a uh, somebody has fallen and they can't get up if they've injured their pelvis or right. their leg or right. um, or their back. You you certainly don't want to move them um, until somebody with um, some medical background has assessed them. Right. So the other thing is, is who is making that decision where they go in the hospital? Is it the family member? Is it the woman who, the person who's fallen and can't get up? Like who's making that decision where they go? Um, it's based on triage criteria. So we, um, the paramedics will do an assessment and will determine um, if they need the trauma center. And when they come in, then they can be trauma alerted, which will activate our resources so that we have a team of okay. people there in the trauma bay to uh, be able to, we call it resuscitate a patient very quickly. We have the team assembled with the resources that they need, and then um, they'll be assessed. And we have CAT scanners and x-rays and um, anything that they need actually in the emergency department as well. So let's go back to the question. Sure. Someone has fallen, they can't get up. Um, what would make, so it's, you said it was the medical staff that responds to the 911 that does that assessment. What, so let's give an example, because I think we understand that that person who fell, mm -hmm. who's still conscious, who may have a pelvic problem or, or some other a broken hip, still goes to the ER. Is that correct? They can go to the ER, sure. Okay. Um, if they are alerted, though, in the field by the paramedic, which means they have been trauma alerted, which means that their injuries are severe enough that they need to get right into the trauma center, Okay. they will meet certain criteria based on their vital signs, based on what their injuries are, based on um, d different criteria that the state has. And if that's the case, they're actually alerted in the field so that we, as the trauma center and the emergency department, have time to prepare so that when the patient arrives, okay. we have everything available to them immediately. Okay. Because I'm trying to prepare our caregivers that if they rush home from work or maybe they're, um, you know, just next door and they come over and someone says, this person, your mother needs to now go to the trauma center, that mm -hmm. they not become traumatized. That's my whole goal right. is helping them feel like, okay, this is a good thing. This is, they're going to be taken care of. John, do you have any, uh, did you, is, was there anything you wanted to add to that? Well, just to use your said? example of falling, if someone falls and maybe breaks their wrist and breaking their fall, and that's really the only right. injury, mm -hmm. that would be a visit to the emergency room. Okay. If they were happen to fall, though, and they bang their head against some concrete or something like that, okay. and they have head injuries, that would, probably, that would probably be more of a trauma case. Okay. But the paramedics who get there do that assessment, right. and they'll make that determination. But that was a good example because some people mm -hmm. are in a parking lot, or they're visiting some. They're visiting somewhere, and they fall, and they do have a head injury. So that was a really great example. Mm -hmm. So, what else would you like to share with our listeners and viewers, Melissa, about the difference between that and how to help them feel a little more grounded and centered if a situation comes up? Like, what would you be saying to a caregiver when you do meet with them and in the ER or the trauma center? Because you're in the trauma center, so let's focus on that. Well, it, it's both. Okay. Um, so so you're both, when in you're doubt. In both, you're, um, are you in both uh, both areas? Yes. Yeah, so okay. It, yes. The trauma center starts in the emergency department. Right. And then it go, we have a specialized operating room. Right. We then have a specialized trauma ICU where our care, uh, caregivers there are specialty trained in trauma and surgical uh, intensive care unit. And then we have a trauma floor to, uh, um, to look at the whole continuum of care. We also okay. have an attached rehab hospital as well. Um, so in the emergency department, if you are ever in an accident or have something happen to you um, that you feel you're, you're not even sure if, where you should be and you don't want to call 911, go to an emergency department and they can always uh, assess your injuries. Okay. And if you need a trauma center, they can transfer you then from the nearest uh, emergency department to a hospital that has the resources that you would need. Um, so in the event, finding your local emergency department and then they can triage and transfer um, is helpful as well to know. So let's go a little broader because I feel sure. like we've really covered that very well. 
where, why, how is it defined that there is a trauma center in certain areas in the state of Florida? John, can you answer that for us? Well, this is an ongoing discussion right now in Florida as to where a trauma center should be located mm-hmm. and coverage. Uh, and a lot has changed since Florida first started their trauma network. Um, you know, as of 2010, probably 93% of the people in Florida were covered by trauma centers. Uh, if you look in our area, we have Tampa General, <clears throat> we had St. Joseph's, we had Bayfront, who are trauma centers back in, in 2010. Um, probably the only area where they could make an argument that there was not enough trauma coverage was prob- maybe in the panhandle. Okay. Uh, but that's since been resolved. That's great. So what's been the impact of having trauma centers for the cost of health care? Who would like to answer that question? Well, tra- the tra- trauma care is a lot more expensive okay. than a regular medical care. I would think so. Uh, in Tampa General's case, we have specialists who are on call 24-7, mm-hmm. 365. So when we have a trauma alert, those, those specialists are mobilized. They're standing there waiting when the patient gets there. Uh, and Melissa probably could talk more to this, but you get a certain, a different level of treatment too. You get more testing, you get more uh, different kinds of drugs. Uh, so treating trauma is a lot more expensive than treating like regular broken wrist or right. regular Well, it's a life or death situation. In most cases. Okay. So Melissa, did you want to add something to that? No, I think I I think that they it, these are costly resources. Okay. Um, we have you know um, we're ready to we're the region's burn center, so we take care of burn okay. victims. We are brain and spinal cord center, so we specialize in people who have neurological injuries or spinal cord injuries. Um, so these people um, can be very very sick, and it does take resources to care for them and to expedite that care. So we always have specialists on call, like he said from microvascular to neurosurgeons to orthopedic surgeons to trauma surgeons to, um, you know, any sort of specialty that you could possibly need, plastic surgery, you know, vascular surgery, cardiothoracic surgery. So, um, you know, we have lots of resources available to us to care for each individual depending on what they need. That's perfect. Now, for caregivers, though, I know you have a support group for people with brain injury Mm because I've attended it myself. Um, do you have other support groups or other resources for caregivers as they have their, their loved ones going through the trauma center? We do. We have a lot of support groups. We also um, started a trauma support group oh, this good. last year. Um, I do know there's the traumatic brain injury. Yes. I believe there's a stroke survivor supports group. So we have multiple um, that I think they can get uh, on our website at tgh.org under community support. That's perfect. You know, we didn't give them, uh, let me give you the toll-free number in case you would still like to ask uh, Melissa or John or even Mark a question. Our toll-free number is 1-877-897-8255. Maybe when we come back, you could think of a story of how you helped a family in our community. That would be a really nice touch. And then Mark, also, if you have another uh, story that you would like to share or some more information, we have Circling Back to the Caregiver. That's being brought to you by William Rambaum and Associates. If you need an elder law attorney, I encourage you to call William Rambaum and Associates. You can find his link right on our website, thecaregiverhour.com. Um, so many families come to me because they they um, have some issues with other family members and they need some legal advice. And I've gone to uh, to Bill Rambaum personally for myself when we had our in-laws living with us nearby and we hadn't done our legal documents and it was time for us to do it. But also sometimes there's situations that come up where Bill really can help get things clarified and legally and also professionally. So if you would like to stay with us, we encourage you to do so. There's so much more and there's some events you want to hear about. I'm Kim Linder. You're listening to the Caregiver Hour on 1250 Wins WHNZ. If you or a loved one experience bladder control problems, here's important news. For more than five years now, the nice ladies at the Caregiver Partnership have taken the time to understand my needs, suggest the best choices of bladder control products for me, and always get the right product delivered to my door fast and with free shipping. To get started, simply call 800-985-1353 for your free catalog and $60 in coupons. Many people just like you trust the Caregiver Partnership for convenient home delivery of bladder control 
control products, and they have more than 500 to choose from. Call now. The call is free. Shipping is free. And your satisfaction is guaranteed. The Caregiver Partnership treats me like family and really knows their stuff. And they keep my business private. Call 1-800-985-1353 now to receive your free catalog with $60 in coupons. That's 1-800-985-1353. Call now. The voice in the preceding advertisement is not the voice of an actual customer. Caregivers, are you worried about mom or dad needing more care? How do you know when it's time to get help? Since 2004, Harmony Home Health has helped seniors in Tampa Bay find joy in their journey. You'd be amazed at how just a little bit of care can go a very long way. From just once in a while to every day of the week, your loved ones experience independence, safety, and dignity wherever they call home. And your whole family experiences Harmony. With Harmony Home Health, you are not alone. You can trust their family to take care of yours. Call 727-723-727. 7532 or visit their website at harmonyhh.com slash Kim. Caring for an elderly parent or a loved one with special needs can be challenging, stressful, and frustrating. If you need help finding the best professionals in the field of home care, legal advice, integrated practitioners, respite care, or a great support group, call the Caregiver Helpline at 1-877-552-4950. That's 1-877-552-4950. It's a free service provided by the Caregiver Resource Network. Call 1-877-552-4950 or go to thecaregiverhour.com. Hi, it's Kim Linder from the Caregiver Hour. I want to tell you about an attorney in Clearwater that I have known for over seven years. His name is Bill Rambaum, and I have referred many families to him for his legal expertise. Bill is one of less than 100 attorneys to be evaluated by the Florida Bar and become certified as a specialist in elder law. His 30 years of experience and impeccable credentials make him one of the most highly regarded legal experts in our area. Give Bill a call today at 727-781-5357 or visit rambomlaw.com non-attorney spokesperson it's the caregiver hour on 1250 wins whnz with encouragement guidance and support for caregivers here's your host kim linder hello everyone and welcome back to the caregiver hour radio show um i have really loved this conversation and i think it's worth going back and listening again in case you missed anything or you want to hear it again because we brought you some very powerful information for you to have as a caregiver or even as a a person living in our community how to really have all the care that you need so we are going to have our guests come back on but before we do i have some fabulous events to talk about i am so excited to be taking this radio show on the road. That means I'm I'm not going to be here in my safe haven, my cocoon, on Monday, May 19th uh, from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. We are doing this fantastic event at the plaza at the Palms of Largo. And we're going to have networking. We're going to have some vendors. And we're going to have this show live at at. So we're taking our crew and taking it on the road, and it's going to be there. And it's going to be at the Palms of Largo, but they have this beautiful area on their campus because it's a beautiful retirement community that has independent, assisted living, memory care, and rehab on campus. And why I'm really prefacing this, because we have a great doctor who's going to be there, Dr. John Young. He's MD and integrative practitioner with the Young Foundation Health in Largo, Florida, with his sister, Marcy Sadorf. And so many of us know Marcy in our healthcare circles, but not everyone knows that she's related to Dr. John Young, but they're going to be together as my two guests on the radio show that day, along with Harmony Home Health and, of course, a representative from the Plaza of, with Palms of Largo. Then we're going to have lunch, and then we're going to have this great one-on-one conversation with Dr. John Young. So if you're interested in coming, we want you to, you can RSVP by calling us at 727-288-9898 and ask for Joe, my assistant, or you can always email us, email joe at thecaregiverhour.com, and that's J-O at thecaregiverhour.com to RSVP, or maybe you have some questions, we'd be happy to answer them. And again, this is for all seniors, healthcare professionals, and caregivers. It's taking the show on the road. Then the next week, I know this May is going to be really busy for us. Join us in celebrating older Americans and their ageless spirits. This is going to be, again, taking the radio show live 
Uh, well, we're actually going to be live, but we're going to record it because it's going to be played at a later date at Memorial Hospital of Tampa. So we're so thrilled to be invited there. There are a nice senior group that meets there on a regular basis, and they want to have this there for them in honor of older Americans. And that's going to be on Tuesday, May 27th from 9 a.m. till noon. This is all free. This is all of us coming together as a community that want to do this for you. Again, that's Tuesday, May 27th at Memorial Hospital of Tampa. You're going to have um, different speakers. We're having wonderful guests, Dr. Susan Steen, who's a neurologist. And you have uh, you have also two other doctors who are going to be talking about geriatrics and have an ageless spirit about you, about having not just growing old, but having a wonderful quality of life. And that's what we're all looking for. And then we're going to have an interactive conversation and a wonderful lunch. So again, we want you to be with us. If you want to RSVP, you just go to joe at the caregiverhour.com and she will take your reservation. Again, it's free. Bring a friend, bring a group. We're all excited to be there. There's probably going to be a hundred people at each event. So if you're curious about what this is all about, how does it all happen? We want you to be there with us. We also have a lot of events that are being posted up on our website, but another one that's really great is going to be Alzheimer's disease, what family caregivers need to know, need to know. And that's at USF Bird Institute. Um, We're so thrilled to to let you know that's happening on May 2nd from 930 to 3 p.m. And there's a lunch. And again, that's also being sponsored by Arden Courts, one of our favorite communities in our in our area. Again, that's the Bird Institute. If you have a loved one who may be showing signs of dementia and or this is your time to really face the facts that that they do have it and you want to know how to go about this what resources are out there i encourage you to go to this event again it's on may 2nd it's all up on our website or you can always email me at kim at the caregiver hour.com there are so many more events um the last one i want to really tell you about and this is just really because this is, man is so special this is on tuesday may 6th and this is going to be at Arden Courts, and it's going to be at their, um, I'm looking at their location, which one? It's going to be, okay, I'm having a hard time reading this one. Okay, it's at Largo, and it's actually going to be at the Largo Cultural Center in Largo. So it's not even at one of their communities because there's going to be such a big crowd. I don't know if any of you read the 36-hour day as a caregiver. Well, it's our Bible in our industry. And Dr. Peter Rabins is a co-author of the book. And I saw him many years ago, and it was such an honor. He's a really great speaker, really personable. He'll answer all your questions. He'll autograph any books that you have. But again, that's going to be on Tuesday, May 6th at 930 Um, It starts and then at 10 o'clock is registration, 10 to 1130 is the seminar. And then there's a book signing from 1130 to 12. So just book yourself from 10 to 12. Give yourself that time. And if you need respite care for your loved one, I'm sure if you call uh, um, Arden Courts, they will take care of that for you. The one in Largo is 727-559-8411. Again, if you are interested in coming to any of these events or learning about Earth Day, we've got one on Earth Day or Herb Day. Uh, National Herb Day is actually happening, and that's really very cool. That's on Saturday, May 3rd from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m., and that's going to be at the Acupuncture and Herbal Therapies. Have you ever been there? There is a great there's a great team of people who are herbalists and holistic doctors, and they talk to you. And all the, when you walk into that office, there's a nice reception area, but then they take you into the herbal room, and that is fascinating. And Dr. Paul Lind will be there, and music will be performed by Urban Gypsies from 12 to 2. So lots to do in our community, and we're very, very fortunate. But I want to go back to Mark Jones, who is president of uh, Air Ambulance Worldwide, Inc. So, Mark, let's go back to you for a moment. You said you might have a little story. I know that we talked about this child who's 18 months old, but is there anything else you can help us with by really understanding the importance of why why our listeners and viewers need to know about your services? Uh, yeah, Kim, thanks a lot. But uh, one of the things that always comes up is, you know, does a, a traditional insurance cover uh, our services? Okay. And the answer is yes, and sometimes it does, and sometimes it doesn't. Uh, we had a case here not long ago within the last year, uh, well, about a year and a half, and um, the gentleman was from New York. Uh, he had traditional standard uh, health insurance through his employer, and he had a special rare disease. He was down visiting friends here in Largo. And uh, it, it kicked in again, this, this problem that he was having. So he went to the Largo Medical Center. 
Uh, and um, we, we actually got this client as our medical directors from the Largo Medical okay. Center. <laughs> but uh, anyway, so uh, they referred him to us and we told them we will check to see if your insurance covers. And they said, well, we've already checked. And they said they won't. I said, well, that's okay. Don't worry about that. Let us worry about that. We know some questions to ask mm-hmm. that you may not. Right. Uh, we know how to drill down into things a little deeper than the typical person that just has to utilize uh, the insurance program. So they said, fine. So we ended up transferring the gentleman up to New York City. And we did take, and when we take this on from insurance, we're one of the few companies that we will, first of all, check with benefits and we'll see if they have coverage. And we felt from our answers, they did. But wow. they didn't. So we did uh, charge the family a deposit for the flight, but we felt we were going to be able to reimburse them. So we get transfer, transferred him up to New York. It took us 18 months mm. with the insurance and five rejections mm. to get paid. We finally forced it to arbitration. And when it went to arbitration, the arbitrator in less than five minutes said, this should never have seen my mm. desk. Mm. They paid it in full. So we took and deposited that check and then reimbursed the family 100% of what we charged them for a deposit. And my point being is this, this is something that we take on. I have a staff of four or five people that all they do is work on these insurance cases. Wow. Number one, we can tell you on the front end, do we think it will be paid or not? Number two, once it gets, and we do the transfer and we submit the claim for them. They don't have to do anything. That's it's, great. It's 100% handled by us. We then follow up and get the rejection and go back and go okay. back and go back. And when we do this, we will not give up until we exhaust literally everything. And it doesn't matter if it's uh, two months, six months, a year, two years. Okay. The longest we've ever fought is 22 months and we were paid 100%. Wow, Mark. No family will do that. Okay. We have and the company. expertise to and do company. that. And companies. So let's talk about how someone can be in touch with you. Uh, once again, on our website, www.airambulanceworldwide.com, or you can call direct at 727-781-1198 and toll free 877-922-9675. Mark, thank you so much for being our guest today oh, and you. our new sponsor. We are thrilled. And Melissa, I am so sorry. I thought we would have time to do another story, but you know what? I'm going to visit you at the at your place of business, and maybe I'll have you come back and we'll finish this conversation. That would be excellent. Okay, that's Thank terrific. you. Thank you, and John Dunn from uh, Tampa General Hospital. If you are a caregiver and you are looking for resources, we want you to visit our website at thecaregiverhour.com. You can listen to the show and watch us live anytime, 24-7. Have a beautiful day, and I will see you next week. I'm Kim Linder, your caregiver, coach at tw- on 1250 Wins WHNZ. The opinions, viewpoints, and promises made during the preceding program are not those.